Hi, John. This is showing you why I, why I explained you. <coughs> I'm showing you. The reason I stopped on this is because this color is so transparent. You can see through it even after a few coats. So I, I just stopped. Now I've made myself a solid blue base coat. See, this would never cover. Never cover with just the, any place I missed with the DP, for example. Um, and I didn't think I missed anything until I sprayed this first coat of base on. Of course, you know, this isn't supposed to be shining yet. We have no clear on here. This is just the base coats. But um, up here you can see maybe with this camera how it's still light. Well, I'm going to go over it, the whole thing, with a solid base and then put your color on and then the clear. So I'll see you after this is all, all finished with clear coats. Then tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to attempt to finish the body. I think I'll get her done. And then the parts, I want to get this back to you by the, at least the middle of the week, Thursday at the latest. Um, it's going to take Mike a while to buff this. And uh, just a heads up report, this is Bob getting back to work. Still feeling a little sick, but I'm here. Hi John, I uh, just finished the clear coating, base coating and clear coating of these parts. They look great. Of course everything's going to be wet sanded flat and buffed to a high gloss. And this color is beautiful. It really looks good in the sun. And here it almost looks black, but it's, it's a, obviously the correct color. You can see the blue cast. Um, there won't be any orange peel on it or anything. And we're done. That's what we have our 1500 grit and 2000 grit sandpaper for is to get rid of any dust and thick paint. But um, all things considered, I'm happy with it. First stage, pretty straight, a little wavy, very subtle, won't even show once it's all buffed in together. Anyway, I'll. Um, be here working tomorrow. This is Sunday. Bob, out. Happy Labor Day Monday, John. Mike is uh, wet setting the fenders that I painted last night. It's easier for him to do it off the vehicle, which I agree. We want to get a bunch of compound buildup inside the edges. We just going to take that down to 2,000 grit or so. And Mostly wet sand, it's not quite. Um, these look pretty good. We'll, we'll get this little bit of oh, orange peel off of it. These here I might respray because I saw a couple like little imperfection. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. I know it's not supposed to be absolutely showroom perfect, but some ways will show blah 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 like we originally agreed. But it might be easier just to reshoot these and uh, then have more clear on it than might because this is a real hard area of buff and not burn through. So we might just shoot those over. What I'm going to do is bring the hood in here and the deck lid in here tomorrow or Wednesday. Bring the car in here today, paint the car, get it completely done. Mike got the uh, dash all finished. The only thing we have to do is a flat black and that's not going to take long. This looks really good and we've got the other pieces painted. Um, so it's be pushed into the booth today. Wrap mask off the places we need to. Looks like we need to paint these bolts. Maybe just paint them black. Anyway, I'll give you an update probably at the end of the day. All things considered, I want to get this body painted today and the rest of it the hood and the other side of that deck lid painted tomorrow we're close um, I wish it was done but that's why we're here see you John